Christmas time is here. Happiness and cheer, fun for all the children call their favorite time of Snowflakes in the air, carols everywhere. Olden times and ancient rhymes of love and dreams to share. Sleigh bells in the air, beauty everywhere. Side and joyful memories there. Christmas time is here. Families drawing near. All oh, that we could always see. Such spirit through the And Christmas time is here, and Michael's here, Yay. and we are here once again on a Wednesday variety night in <laughs> December. How's I everybody know. doing? Thank I you for know. joining us. It's good to be here, Bob. I, I don't feel like it's Christmas. Do you? Uh, no, because it's it's unseasonably warm here today. Oh wait, I've realized I'm dressed like I should be doing guys and dolls. You really are. You're like Nathan Detroit in the Road Company. <laughs> what be a lady tonight? Yeah, I know. Well, anyway, you know what? Just... I haven't had a chance because my back and the work, work, God, I haven't had a chance to, like put up the tree yet, and so I feel like you know you're uh, late on everything. Look at the studio; it's not even decorated. We no, have... no, I, no. I wanted to get a little tree for here, but it'll be here. It'll for, be here. It'll be here for. It'll be here a, for yeah. next week, actually. It'll be here for Lady Gaga and uh, Tony Bennett. And but I. it's literally like 55 degrees and misty. It's like it's like England, Jane Steffens, but but warmer. It's that misty, foggy rain that we have right now. So. And I was thinking of this today because before I left the shore to come back to uh, New Hope here, I realized that it was 10 years, like 10 years ago, almost to the day, that it was like 63 degrees on the mm. same day. And I took a walk on the boardwalk. And that was when I saw my friend Richie sitting out on the boardwalk having a burrito. And I said, um, <laughs> and I said, that looks really good. He says, oh, oh, you got to go in and get one. This place just opened. It's amazing. And he told me what to order. And I went in, I ordered it. And then when I came back out, I sat down. And about 30 seconds later, the man that was standing behind me, the entire time I was waiting for my burrito, came out and said hi to Richie. And then said hi to us both and, and walked away. And Richie said, you know, that was Bruce Springsteen. And so... Uh, <laughs> It's and a you're true like, story. you're like, no. Well, no, I have two takeaways from that. One is I'm glad I didn't talk to him because okay. I would have said something really stupid. I know Been I would have. That. I would have said, typical Sagittarius, put both feet in my mouth. I would have said, Bruce, really love the first three albums. Oh, the first four. <laughs> but after Born to Run, you kind of lost me for a while. I would have said something stupid like that. But my other takeaway is that he was behind me. And I realize now they still served me first. They didn't rush him through. So maybe they, I didn't know who he was either. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe anyway. that's how it should be, right? But I just had that memory today because of the unseasonably warm temperature that we have today. If I can count the number of times I put both feet in my mouth in front of a celebrity, it would be, I, you couldn't hear, I'd be like. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Well, anyway, just, I know. love variety. What I love about the variety shows is that uh, they're kind of, it's kind of my take on the piano, on my piano bar and my open mic thing. It's because I'm always trying to break the stigma that piano bar and open mic isn't just Broadway and old songs for old people, but it's all kinds of songs. And tonight's show is, is just like that. It's like everything. There's songs by Radiohead in the show. There's, yes. There is Broadway. There's pop songs. There's um, uh, movie, TV. There's... Uh, current song. I mean, there's like everything tonight. It's really, um, there's country. I mean, there's a little bit of everything tonight. And we're starting off with a new singer. And we have a new singer to start. Not oh, new to the show. Let me get his music ready while you're talking to him. Not totally new to the show. Come on here, Jay. Yeah. Not totally new to the show. He was on here during the COVID days. He did some video work. Did a but, bunch of songs right, in the video. Right. Oh, I got to fix you. Hold on. Yes, it's going to fix you. Jay. Oh, I need to be fixed. Yeah, there you go. It just means there you it, go. 
Uh, I mean, but new in terms of like you haven't been in the studio before. I have not. Yeah, make sure you, when you speak, lean into close the microphone. Close to the mic. Yeah, oh, real yeah. close. You can even lift we'll it. Do. You can we'll squeeze do. it and lift it if you want it a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, literally. So Jay, what are you up to? What, what's going on here? Well, let's do some music. And are you, and you're, uh, you've been singing for since childhood? Since All my life. All my life, really. But you're, you, uh, you have an affinity for, if I understand, folk music, correct? Well, yeah. I mean, I've been playing guitar since I was about 14. Not well, but I've been doing it. And <laughs> then over the past uh, 10 years, I've had the thrill of, of fronting a big band, which is pretty much every fantasy I ever had as oh a kid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So what, do you have a name? Does the big band have a name? Yeah, the band is called Reed's Rhythm and All That Brass. So, and you have a website? Ah. And, you know, normal kids want to be right. astronauts, firemen. Yeah. All I ever wanted to be was Bobby Darren. Yeah, well, you missed it. So. By a week, you could have been Bobby Darren <laughs> last week on our show. Yeah. So, um, do, do, do you have a website that people can go to? to oh, yeah. Um, look us up on Facebook, um, readsrhythmbigband.com. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. How and, fun. And tonight you're actually singing... You're going to be singing some of the music that evokes this sort of big yeah. band, you know. Probably he's yeah. going to do something well, else. Well, something else first. The but second the, one. Yeah, the second one for sure. And we'll talk a little bit about that second one when we get to okay. it. But, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Walensky. Yeah, well, thanks. Right. The first song is kind of the ultimate one-hit wonder, which I'll add is one hit more than I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a New Jersey band called Looking There's still Glass. time. There's a port on a western bay And it serves a hundred ships a day Lonely sailors pass the time away Talking about their homes There's a girl in this harbor town And she works laying whiskey down They say brandy, fetch another round She serves them whiskey and wine the sailors say, Brandy, you're a fine little girl. What a good wife you would be. Your eyes could steal a sailor from the sea. Brandy wears a braided chain made of finest silver from the north of Spain. A locket that bears the name of the man that Brandy loves. He came on a summer's day Bringing gifts from far away But he made it clear he couldn't stay No harbor was his home The sailor said, Brandy You're a fine little girl What a good wife you would be But my life, my love and my lady Is a sea now Brandy used to watch his eyes as he told his sailor stories. She could feel the ocean fall and rise, saw its rage and glory. But he had always told the truth, Lord, he was an honest man. Brandy does her best to understand. Now at night, when the bars close down, Brandy walks through the silent town, loves a man who's not around. She still can hear him say, she hears him say, Brandy, you're a fine little girl, what a good wife you would be. But my life, my love and my lady is the sea. Now Brandy, such a fine girl, Brandy, such a fine girl, Brandy. Yeah, Jay Walensky. Jay, that was fun. I always love doing Thank that song you. with you. Not, not many people my entire career have actually done that song. So. Oh, it's such a good one. Such a good one. It is a good one. And uh, we have a great, a really interesting uh, uh, 
a coincidence. No, right. there's, there's a coincidence every show, but ten, I like tonight's is an interesting one. Well, because I said to you, I said, you know, mm. it's December 7th, and you said, what's December 7th? I said, it's, it's, well, I forgot. it's Pearl December Harbor 7th. Day. And you go, oh, yeah, it's true. I said, what year was that? 1941. December 7th, 1941, a day that will live in infamy. And you're like, and I said, we should do something like, you know, something from 1941. And then Jay walks in the door <laughs> and gives you a song that's from 1941. Uh, kind of a melancholy song for it's a like melancholy he, time. It's true. It's true. I love this song. Hoagie um, Carmichael, Johnny Johnny Carmichael, Johnny Carmichael, Johnny Carmichael Mercer. and Johnny, Johnny Mercer. Mercer. Yeah. What a team. Well, yeah. I, I'm Jay, sure, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, fronting a big band, you probably do a lot of Hoagie Carmichael and Johnny Mercer. A few. Yeah. One of the things, Jay, on our show, too, we, I always like to uh, highlight the fact that some of these songs, they're, like the people talk about Johnny Mercer, Johnny Mercer, Johnny Mercer, but Johnny Mercer was only half of the team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they forget like Hokey Carmichael, like he was the, wrote the music for this one. And there were a lot of people that got half of the, that were the half of the songwriters, but no one ever talks about them. We're going to be highlighting another one in January, which I'll talk about later on in the show. But uh, we've been doing a lot of that lately. It's been fun. Even Harry Warren. Right. A lot of singers were surprised they didn't really know who Harry Warren was. Of course not. He, he's sort of the, the hidden songwriter in, in plain sight, right? But anyway, I love that you picked this song out. And so, uh, so once again, I think, uh, from 1941, Jay Walensky. Well, thank you. Thing to say to me Won't you tell me where my love can be Is there a meadow in the mist Where someone's waiting to be kissed Skylar Have you seen a valley green with spring where my heart can go a journeying Oh, shadows and rain To a blossom-covered lane And in your lonely flight Have you heard the music in the night? Wonderful music, faint as a will-o'-the-wisp, crazy as a loon, sad as a gypsy serenading the moon. Oh, Skylar, I don't know if you can find these things, but my heart is riding on your wings. So if see them anywhere won't you lead me there So if 
you see them anywhere? Won't you lead me there? Thank you, Bob. Thank, Thank you, Jay. Jay Walensky. Thank you, Jay. Great song, too. Lovely. I love that song. I love that song. I, I've probably played that my whole life, but I, I can never play a note of it without the music because there's just so much going on in it. It's just some beautiful chords there. And lovely playing, Mr. Egan. Thank you. Nice well, play. it's just a, it's one of those just songs that is just delicious. Mm. Or as I said a couple of weeks ago, it's a lovely chestnut. <laughs> How appropriate for this time of year. I know, it's right. Does anyone chestnut. actually like chestnuts? I mean, they're kind of like, you know. Uh, I mu- like, they're like muddy chestnuts nuts. when they're wrapped in bacon. Well. <laughs> yes. I, uh, I was playing an event the other day and they were serving all these appetizers and they started putting them on the piano, which was very nice that mm-hmm. he dropped them off. And then, <laughs> and then the hostess uh, said, uh, was walking around <laughs> with the bacon wrapped scallops. Um, and uh, she said, do you want one of these? I said, if you didn't give me one, I was going to tackle you. <laughs> That's like my weakness, like those, those bacon wrapped anything. Bacon, the bacon, chestnuts, bacon, 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 bacon. Scallops. And I know you like the little, little hot dogs in the pile of dough. Um, well, yeah, they're so good, so good, <laughs> so good, like Neil Diamond would yeah, say, but yeah. they're so wrong, so, so wrong, wrong, so wrong. Yeah. There's nothing healthy about them. Uh, so um, let's say hi to people, too, real quick, before while Jess is getting know, ready. Hi, Michael and Bennett, and I see Jimmy Two Canes, and I saw Bill Tomer and Linda Kaplan, and I know that Judy Jones is out mm-hmm. there, too, and Dottie Rudnick. Mm-hmm. And who else do you see? Dennis Michael? Rue and Ed McLaughlin and Bill Souter. Linda, you said Linda Kaplan. Uh, Lorelai Pepe. Hi, Lorelai. I saw Juan was there, too. Yeah, Hi, Juan. Juan is there. Hi, Juan. And Karen Clayton. Amy Raditz, too, yes. I saw and was John there. Ward. Chuck Finch, too. Chuck Finch and John Ward, yeah. Uh, and Vic Pham. Yeah. Oh, out in Reno. Oh, Hi, yeah. Vic. Amy Raditz. Pam Jorgensen. Hi, Pam. We'll be seeing you soon. And uh, Tony Ruggieri, whose birthday it just was recently. Um, Aileen O'Neill Stahl. Jimmy oh. Duquesne's. Uh, just looking around the list, lots of people checking in tonight. Mm-hmm. Thomas well, Meany. Hmm. Tom Meany. Oh, I saw Tom's out yeah. there. Hi, Tom. Oh, you, he's so good about that. He never it's misses. Nice. And of course, it was so nice. We had a little drop-in visit the other day. We had Christian here. Well, Christian. Oh, Mary uh, Helen Mary, Morris. Mary, Helen, Hel- from Mary, Tyler, Texas, from Tyler, was Texas, here. Was here in Pennsylvania. And, I, and she made me the cutest little pillow. It's nice to see her and her daughter. And I wanted to bring it out to show it on the show, and maybe I'll get it before the show is over, because it was so, mm-hmm. so adorable. As she is, I've known her forever, and I hadn't seen her in person in many years, and she never ages. She looks no, amazing. she looks great. And I didn't know she played the piano. She plays, uh, she plays beautifully, and so does her daughter. It's like amazing. I, I, I thought we could kidnap them, and, and, and they can come on the show, you know? <laughs> My only regret was I didn't have her play more for me, but I was just, I had so much going on. I had to so play a big on. party and I had to pack up the I car. know, and I had to go to, to work. So anyway, it was... Oh, we had a nice little visit then. Great Hi, Karen you. Clayton. Anyway, so, are we ready? Back again Just to Leo. Just Leo. Hello. Hi. Hi. We haven't seen you in a while. Oh, yes, I get it. It's Just good to be back. One of our songs tonight is Billie Eilish, and you've got the yes. green hair in her honor. Yes. And in Christmas you didn't have the honor. nails, though, right? You know how Billie Eilish has the nails. I know. I should have got my uh, yeah. nails done for oh. today. They kind of scare me. Billie Eilish's nails kind of scare me. They, yeah. They're like a lethal weapon. Well, yes. she doesn't have the hair. Didn't she get rid of the hair color? I think, I think she did. It was green on top. Yeah. yeah. Now she looks sort of subdued comparatively. When she first came out of the scene, it was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to? Um, I mean, not much. I've uh, just been singing around town. I'm going to be performing in a show um, this Sunday, actually. It's a Christmas show, and it's really cool. It's going to be at 1675 Spirits in Ben Salem. If anybody would love to come out, it starts at 1 is when music starts. Everyone starts to get there at like 12, and it goes to like 5. Which is the show you were talking about before? Yeah. So this is this is a show that you're in, in and so is Shane, and, who's on the show tonight, and some Friends of the show are also Eva, on Amy, Eva and Eva, and Amy it's, so it's a Robideau. nice opportunity to see people perform and do something good for charity. Absolutely, yeah. 
Absolutely, yes, because we're donating. So any uh, anybody who comes in, we ask them to bring an unwrapped toy. Shane will talk more about it later. And we're going to donate it. So I'll, I'll have him tell you about the donation space and all that stuff Can't like wait. that. But, so but really you'll be cool. there, too. So that's fantastic. And tonight you're singing... Uh, are you, is this the correct order that's on the sheet? Because the first one you're doing is a Jason Robert Brown song. Yes. He's correct. one of the people that I put my foot in my mouth in front of. Like when Bob talks about, I was at, I sw when one of his shows first came out downtown at Manetta Lane Theater, I saw it with a friend. I did not love it. And of course, it came in the lobby and he was there and I was waiting for my friend to come out of the bathroom and he started chatting. And what do you say to the composer? I'm not good. I do not have that thing. I, I can't, like when I, Bob knows, when I don't like something, he tries to get me out of the room quickly. Because it's kind of like, I want to say, you know, well, you know. Yeah. So I, but I thought, I, I, what am I going to say? And so I, I looked down at the playbill and I realized he wrote his own orchestration. So, and I said, God, those orchestrations were beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So good. So good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's hard to believe he stayed here at the house. Probably, it's probably got to be almost thirty years ago now, when he was. I had a group, a vocal group called the Tonics, singing here, in the cabaret at Odette's, and he was their accompanist, and he was unknown then. Wow, but he spent cool. most of the weekend at my piano, composing and writing music. Never, you know, who knew that that. that was who was going yeah. to be? Who yeah, knew? and he's amazing. Yes. He is. You're going to sing one of his songs. And Extremely I'm talented. One of his songs. And actually, this song. Is, is particularly well well written, I think. And and uh, when I hear uh, women sing this song, um, it's it's the true definition of a story song, right? It takes you on, a, on an arc. For sure. And it's it's it's, it's from uh, songs from a new world. Mm -hmm. Here to sing it, Jess DeLeo. <laughs> to his name who had no traits of any value but his smile I met a man who had no yearn nor claim to fame who was content to let life pass him for a while and I was sure that all I ever wanted was a life like the movie stars me right here and he said I'll give you stars and the moon and a soul to guide you in a promise I'll never go I'll give you hope to bring out all the life inside you and the strength that will help you grow I'll give you truth and a future that's 20 times better than any Hollywood plot and I thought, you know, I'd rather have a yacht. I met a man who lived his life out on the road, who left a wife and kids in Portland on a whim. I met a man whose fire and passions always showed who asked if I could spare a week to ride with him. But I was sure that all I ever wanted was a life that was scripted and planned. And he said, but you don't understand. I'll give you stars in the moon I'll give you days full of dreams if you travel my way in a summer you can't repeat. I'll give you nights full of passions and days of adventure. No strings, just warm summer rain. And I thought, you know, I'd rather have champagne. I met a man who had a fortune in the bank, who had retired at age 30, set for life. I met a man and didn't know which stars to thank, 
And then he asked one day if I would be his wife. And I looked up, and all that I could think of was a life I had dreamt I would live. And I said to him, what will you give? I'll give you cars and a townhouse in Turtle Bay and a fur and a diamond ring. And we'll be married in Spain on my yacht today And we'll honeymoon in Beijing And you'll meet stars at the parties I throw at my villas In Nice and Paris in June And I thought, okay And I took a breath And I got my yacht And the years went by And it never changed And it never grew And I never dreamed and I woke one day, and I looked around, and I thought, my God, I'll never have the moon. Yeah. Thank you. Jess <coughs> DeLeo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a while since I played it. I got to hear that song. That was great, yes. Jess. Thank you so much. I really love to sing that song. It's like Michael was saying, it's a very storytelling song. It yeah. like it just takes you through this whole thing and I love it. Such a great one. Bad choices. Yeah. Bad choices. Bad choices. Bad choices. <laughs> Not that any of us ever make them. Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what the musical is about, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's about, you know, making that decision. Um uh, Songs from New World has a lot of songs about they're all like character songs. Yeah. Like it's a great, it's not like a through line. It's, it's like these sketches in, about these different characters in different points in time. Um, it's, I really like that. The, I love the score. Yes. Anyway, um, so this next one is the Billie Eilish. Yes. Yeah. Love her. Love her too. Yes. Um, and uh, I can't wait to see what you do with this. Yay. I'm excited to sing it for you all. So once again, Jess DeLeo. <laughs> But I know 
you'd invite me in and I'd be yours again but I I'm in love but not with anybody else just want to get to know Yes, thank you. I love that. I never heard that till this morning, Jess. Beautiful. Yes, I love that so song. Glad. You can stay on set another second. Yeah. <laughs> I love those. I love the lyrics because it actually it's it's um it's a really neat neat song. It has a lot to say in that little bit. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And it is. It's jam packed with like a bunch of emotions, you know, and a whole concept too of embracing what's ahead of you and not dwelling on. Exactly. You know, and being yeah. excited about your future. I like that. Well, yeah. Good. Just gorgeous. Yes. And thank you so much. Thank I you. Thank you for that. being here. I really appreciate yes. it. Thanks, you Jess. You always bring so much to the table when you come. I love once again, you if you want to see Jess live, she'll be live this weekend. You said Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. Yes. Sunday in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. And uh, we'll have more information for you shortly. But uh, come out and see All Jess. right. So I'm going to say hi to a couple other people. I see Rachel's out there. She'll be with us um, the end of the month. For mm -hmm. the uh, New Year's pre New Year's Eve show, and I see Linda Benedetto's there and yes. David Rickle. <clears throat> oh, Linda, we need you back on the show. It's time. It's time. And uh, Vincent Duradio is checking in. And from, Vincent Duradio is out in Chicago. The, he's checking and, in from the ER. He's in the ER tonight getting antibiotics. He says so. Uh, everybody, oh. send some pow some energy his way, right? We're sending you healing. Yeah. Healing, healing energy. Um, so, Vincent, but thank you for checking in from there. I hope it helps you feel better, too. He says it is, but that's nice. And Michelle Mercado, of course, who is um, head of all our fan club and all our little merch, 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 like our, I know they have little stickies in it right now, but mm -hmm. our, our, <laughs> our, our virtual piano bar, cheers, glasses, and the famous John Richardson um, whiskey glass is also, also mm -hmm. from Merchell's gift shop. But before we bring on John, who is our special guest tonight, I want to tell you about the shows coming up. Next week we're doing uh, songs by Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. and Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga together. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a little bit of it's going to be a lot of fun. And then the following week's our Christmas show, a couple days before Christmas, and then on December twenty eighth, I've actually named the show the Pre New Year's Eve Buffet Show because it's an ongoing joke with Andy Prescott. Oh. About where's the what about the buffet? And it became a thing that singers said, "Did I get here too late for the buffet?" Which there never was such a thing. But I promise, Andy, there will be one on December twenty eighth. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Yes, so we'll make sure there's no shrimp on it. So you, you're alive for the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, in January, um, we have a couple of fun shows coming up too. Uh, of course, January 4th is the first Wednesday, so it is a variety show. Mm -hmm. And Joel, January 11th, we're doing a show I wanted to do for the last two years called We're Off to See the Wizard. Songs from The Wiz, Wicked, um, uh, Wizard of Oz, just uh, right there. A whole the show. day before my birthday. And that's what you wanted for your birthday. Not really, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'm, I'm not announcing yet what we're doing on January 18th. Um, because we may be doing it from on the road. And January 25th, it is the return. It is the next wheel show. Yes, it is. And um, anyway, and the other thing I'm just going to say real quick is that um, in February, we're having a variety show. And in February 8th, we're getting to do a neat show of, of songs that were, um, that the, oh, is it the lyrics or the music? Now that I'm, now I'm having a mind blank. Carl Sigmund. Who wrote all these famous songs and you've never heard his name? I never even heard his name until my friend Linda Jean at the shore said, You've never done anything for Carl Sigmund. And she, she showed me who Carl Sigmund is. And before the show's over, I'm going to read you like 10 songs that he wrote and you're going to go, Oh my okay. God. Right. Can't wait. Anyway, hi, Lou Ruvalo. I see her there too. And Colleen. Yes. Ben Hansen um, and Louisa Haggard. Happy and in. Sam and Ted and Kathy. And um, I see George and Donna are out yeah. there tonight, too. 
and Judy Polonofsky as well, and mm -hmm. my friends, the Jekylls, and Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. All right, John Richardson is here. Hi, John. John is here. John, John, John. There you are. You're in Boston tonight, right? I am, yeah. Hey, everybody. How are you? Good. I have hat, hat hair. hair. Hat hair. It's okay. You didn't have to put take your hat off for the show. You, you can don't leave you, your hat wait. on. John, I you, mean, you to, don't have I one of these? Small. You don't have one of these with you? I, that's right. I said I'm in Boston, so I have to wear this. <laughs> oh, I thought that B was for Bob. That's right. It is. How are you guys? <laughs> We're having a good time tonight. Thank you for running our show tonight. I'm loving the show so much. I love all the songs so far. It sounds fantastic. Well, it was your, this whole format was your idea um, to, oh, God, going on three years. I know. It's crazy. Can you believe it? And you're back to it. You were, you, you were busy this summer doing live performances, but now I see you're back online, too. You're back amongst us. That's right. Yeah, I did like six or seven shows this fall and a couple of them with Peter Donnelly and then a few by myself. But I love Virtual Piano Bar, and it, it was hard to do in the summer just because that's my busy season. So a lot, a lot easier in the fall. So I'm glad to be back on. But I love that you have your audience just keeps getting bigger and bigger and more and more uh, strong. And I just love being able to kind of check in on this show every week. It's amazing. And I love that Chris. You guys all seem to love Chris Hawkins. We love oh, Chris. Are you yeah. kidding me? He was here. Was he, was he was here last two friend. weeks ago. It was awesome. It was awesome. And you are busy again. I see you're doing a, are you still doing your, your Crosby show up in, in Provincetown? Is there any more dates of that coming up? Or Nope, that all finished. So three. Because oh, I saw how success, so successful. My God. Yeah, they all sold out. Great. Congratulations. So what do you got for us tonight? I'm going to uh, start off with a Dolly Parton song about Christmas. And then I'm going to pop back in, and then I think Bob's going to introduce the second one. You got All it. Right. Sounds exactly. good. All right. Here we go. I'll see you guys in a minute. You're all mine now. I've got all of you. All right. It's so nice to be here. Uh, I'm even going to put up my own name. Oh, I get to do this. This is fun. Well, I'm glad to be here, everybody. And uh, uh, I want to thank you for letting me sing a little song. And uh, this first one's a Dolly Parton song. It's called Hard Candy Christmas. Hey, maybe I'll dye my hair. Maybe I'll move somewhere. Maybe I'll get a car. Maybe I'll drive so far that I'll lose track Me, I'll bounce right back Maybe I'll sleep real late Maybe I'll lose some weight Maybe I'll clear my junk Maybe I'll just get drunk on apple wine Me, I'll be just fine Lord, it's like a hard candy Christmas I'm barely getting through tomorrow But still I won't let sorrow bring me way down I'll be fine and dandy Lord, it's like a hard candy Christmas I'm barely getting through tomorrow but still I won't let sorrow bring me way down. Hey Joan, hi y'all, it's good to see ya. Okay, let's do the second verse. It goes like this. Hey, maybe I'll learn to sew. Maybe I'll just lie low. Maybe I'll hit the bars. Maybe I'll count the stars until the dawn. Me, I will move on Maybe I'll settle down Maybe I'll just leave town Maybe I'll have some fun Maybe I'll meet someone and make him mine Me, I'll be just fine and dandy Lord, it's like a hard kid Christmas, I'm barely getting through tomorrow, but 
but still I won't let sorrow bring me way down. I'll be fine and dandy, Lord, it's like a hard candy Christmas. I'm barely getting through tomorrow, but still I won't let sorrow bring me way down. Thanks, Wally. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Jane. I'll be I'll be fine. Hey. Yeah, there we go. Jay, Jay, John. I love that you did that. <coughs> yeah, that's right, because uh, Dolly Parton had the big hit of, because she did the movie from uh, Best Little Horror House in Texas. Right. Carol exactly. Hall, right. For, for Carol right. Hall Carol actually Hall wrote, wrote it. it, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I love that song. So thanks for doing that. Nobody's done that on the show, in a long, if ever. I'm not even sure if I can remember. I love that song. And the next song that, we're, that you're going to do, I actually requested this because, um, unfortunately, on well, Monday we lost two famous people, Kirstie Alley and Bob McGrath. And Bob McGrath is one of the originals from, well, all along, from uh, Sesame Street. And um, I had the pleasure, I guess it was about maybe 12 years ago and 13 God, years ago, so long. two years in a row, I played for an awards dinner in New York where um, Sesame Street was honored, and mm -hmm. both him and Carol Spinney, who played Big Bird and another character, sat next, sat with me on the piano bench and sang the song you're going to sing. And I have a video, and I got to find it, or I would have run that, you know, shown that tonight. But better yet, we have you. Yeah, it's true. Even though you're there without, who's your, who's your little friend? that? The, Usually the, Kermit's here with Kermit. me. Kermit's he's... with you, yeah. See how much I watch. See, yeah, see. I was just... I had it like I just. If it has puppets or animation, Bob's not paying attention. No, I've never remember. I haven't seen Lion King yet, still. So. <laughs> I've I've heard your guilty pleasure is the TV show Friends. Yeah, it, that's one of them. He does yeah. like that. Yeah. Friends, yeah, Golden Girls, yeah, The Nanny, and and many others. Um, but that virtual piano bar. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You're thinking of thank you for being a friend. That's what you're thinking of. Well, anyway, I'm anyway, glad so you're doing this. This is a great song for tonight. And, uh, and since there's so many people, I'm watching these numbers. There's so many people out there watching. I think you're, this is for everybody watching tonight. Yeah. John Richardson. Hi, y'all. Okay. Well, this is one of my favorite songs. And uh, I hope that you'll sing along at home. I'm sure you know how it goes. It goes like this. Are there so many songs about rainbows? What's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and some choose to Now you say, someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Who said that every wish would be heard and danced her when wished on a morning star? Someday we'll find it. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers and the dreamers and me. All of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. Okay, we just key changed. Now 
if you're at home and you're watching Bob Egan's show, you should do what some of your friends are doing and put some, write some rainbow emojis in the comments and hit send rainbow emojis in the comments. Yes. Have you been half asleep? Have you heard voices? I've heard them calling my name. saying someday we'll find it the rainbow connection the lovers the dreamers and me la da 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 oh thanks patricia thank you all so very very much hey here we're in Thank you, John. John, that was so much fun. So Thanks much for fun. Thanks that. for doing Thank that today in honor of Bob and and just because I never can well, hear that song too many times. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see the rest of your show. And I want to say thank you to everyone that watches uh, Bob and Michael's show. It's so, so special. And thank you all for supporting Virtual Piano Block. Thank, thank you John. very much, John. I want to say hi to a couple people too out there. Ed McLaughlin's out there too, and Andy and Marianne. And Penny Katz, who will be back on the show in January. Mm -hmm. And Wally Watson, Sue DiCrescenti, Ruth Benick, um, um, my friends, um, uh, uh, Lou Ruvalo's out there. And Joan Slykus. Hi, Joan. And uh, Dan and Dee and Jim and Patty, Cousin Patty in Florida and Patricia in South Jersey and Loretta. I'm sorry, Lorelai, Laura and Candy and um, Beth Hansen and Robin Rossini Hall. Hi, Robin. She's down there in Atlantic City. And Jill Christos and Jack Putnack. And Marie Thank Trontel, of course, is watching. Who? Marie Trontel is watching. And Marie Trontel is watching. I think she knew the first singer. I think she knew the that first Jay, singer. Too. That Jay Walensky guy. I want to thank you for supporting us with your contributions. They are extremely helpful, and they enable us to keep going and going and going because we still have uh, quite an overhead. I thought of this. You know, I was watching... Uh, the PBS fundraiser on Saturday, they were playing once again the, the 25th anniversary of Les Miserables, which meant I got absolutely nothing done on Saturday afternoon except watch the show and uh, continue to walk on the treadmill because I didn't want the show to end. But anyway, um, I keep thinking they're so good about fundraising. I'm just so horrible about fundraising. So and I think I need to bring the PBS people on to talk about right. us. Remember but, when they used to give tote bags? Stop with a tote bag. So that's what we need, Michelle. I guess we need tote, tote bags. bags. <laughs> you know. but, but and if that... you give monthly. Yeah. Right. Is that the one with Nick Jonas? Yes. It's so it's I mean, I have pictures on my phone of me watching it because Molly and I were texting. She said, What are you doing? I said, I'm on the treadmill in tears because <laughs> they're all about they're all they're because <laughs> Nick Jonas is singing empty chairs. Empty, empty chairs tables. and empty tables. <laughs> And I said, this is like wrong. There's Can't you just really picture all the other Jonas Brothers about, gone and he's by himself? About you know? being on the treadmill watching Les Miserables. It does not make any sense, but welcome to my life. Just anyway, that. we got to move on. Because oh. we had, what, did something you want to say? No, she's saying show the CDs. You're right, show the CDs. Look at this, wonderful oh, gifts, yes. right? Thank you, Rhoda. See, that's the Bob, that's the Bob glowing Bob. That's... You know, GQ Glowing, Bob, yes, GQ Bob. With my Christmas See, lights go. because it's the Christmas CD. That's Bob's on the back looking like he's 10. I was. <laughs> and this is the one you want to buy because it's new. It's only been out a year, not even a year. Not even. Available on iTunes and, you know, Spotify and Apple Music and Amazon and on my website. But so These are yeah. all great. We I'm have just them kidding. These Christmas are CDs make great. Christmas I really your, your Christmas CD is fabulous, actually. People tell me that they watch it. They listen I to walked it all into time. a store in New Hope once, and I'm like, I recognize that. I, I know, and it's like that's Bob. Is he here? <laughs> anyway. Well, anyway, he's back. Please welcome back Shane. Yay. Shane McEwen. Shane McEwen. Oh, oh hold God. on. There you go. What's going on, everybody? 
Good to have you back, Shane. Thank you for having. You'll me. be back. Oh wait, that's the name of the song. Imagine that. He's back. So, uh, so we we are we let the cat out of the bag. You're doing a big like a little fundraiser, or big little. That's not weird. A big fundraiser this weekend. Yes, I am. Um, I have had the opportunity to produce shows at 1675 Spirits in Ben Salem. So last year I decided why not do a big Sunday show uh, where guests are encouraged to bring unwrapped toys. And then we are donating those toys to uh, Women's Space of Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Um, basically, it's for uh, women, also men, who are dealing with um, abuse within the relationship. And this is their outlet to be able to get away from that and also have the res and then have the resources that they need to keep going in life. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, there's always children involved with that. So I'm very fortunate <coughs> to have a space to do this. It's myself plus eight other artists. Uh, last year, I was able to donate almost eight hundred dollars worth of unwrapped toys, and I think we're going to double that this year. That's uh, awesome. And what time is the show? What it is from one to five. Uh, guests usually will get there about twelve, twelve thirty, and the music will start roughly about one thirty. And again, it is uh, myself plus eight other performers, so we will be putting on about a three-hour show. It is all different genres. Please come and go as you please. Um, there is a food truck. There's a whiskey and vodka distillery as well, so parents, you can enjoy yourself a little bit <laughs> while the kids get to visit, and uh, Santa's coming as well. Wow, and, and it's Jess DeLeo and Amy yeah, Robodeau and, an awesome and Eva, and mm -hmm. Eva Guasconi, all of which you've seen on the show. So it's it's really a fantastic charity, and uh, and everybody show up this, this Sunday in Ben Salem. We would love to see um, you. Fantastic. But you're here tonight. We're so excited. I haven't seen you in about, it's about a month and a half or so since you were last year. And... Um, you, are you starting out with this song from Hamilton? I am. Yes, I am. This is a great song, and it's sung by the only, um, the per I guess the only Englishman in the show, right? Everybody yeah. else is a, is a colonist. And, Did and we have a crown sitting around or I know, something? I, I know, I wish. know, I know. I forgot I it. think I have Too something bad. for Burger King. Well, I'll just, just picture it. <laughs> I love just Burger Just picture King. it. Picture <laughs> it. <laughs> well, Sean McEwen. The price of my love's not the price that you're willing to pay You cry in your tea what you hurl at the sea When you see me go by, why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away Now you're making me mad Remember despite our estrangement I'm your man You'll be back soon, you'll see You'll remember you belong to me You'll be back, time will tell And you'll remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully on battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 Love for your breeze, 
Shane McEwen. <laughs> Thank you. And now, as, as they say on Monty Python, and now for something completely different. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. This is a song by a group called Radiohead. One of your favorites, Michael. Uh, Shane McEwen. <laughs> McEwen. Shane. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. Of course. Nice Just job, don't Shane. Don't forget to see Shane this nice. Sunday in Ben Salem. Um, 75, spirits. 75 Spirits. There you go. 75, 75 Spirits. Oh, it's that, we're, as we're on our wind down here, I want to thank John Richardson uh, for running our show and for starting this whole thing, all these you know, going on three years ago, and um, for being here with us tonight. And also, I um, want to wish a couple people happy birthday. We have a couple of birthdays today, John, including your, your Aunt Sue, right? It's Sue's birthday today, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's yep. Aunt Sue. Nice. That's and, right. it's my, and a couple of people who may be out there watching. I know Howard, um, my friend who owns Moonstruck, uh, Howard, um, of Howard and Luke, the owners. Nice. Uh, it's his birthday today, and Ed Joyner, and my friend Allison Maxfield, who's been on the show. And it is also Julie Halston's birthday. I know she's not oh, watching I love the show, Julie but we love Julie Halston. Yesterday was Sharon Lasher's birthday. She's been on the show. And tomorrow is our dear friend Rhonda Cohen, her birthday. So happy birthday in advance, Rhonda. I got to work Rhonda. with Julie Halston, I think, three times during COVID. You what? I think I got to work with Julie Halston three times during COVID that I probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to prior to that. 
Kind of weird, right? Well, I'm so, um, yeah. I love her. She's fun. She's always been great. All right, so anyway, this is a song from Romance Romance, right? I know. It's so funny. I w- I, we were trying to think of something to do, and I went downstairs to get music, and this was sitting on top of the pile, and I thought, we've never done this. So... Yeah, no, I, I love never. the song. So this is uh, so anyway. So let's do it. Romance, romance. It was a musical. I think probably about 1989, 1990, um, somewhere around there. 1988. 88. Okay, and I saw it at the Helen Hayes Theater on Broadway with Allison Frazier, and it was Scott Bakula, but he was out of the show that day. You know who was in for, for Scott Bakula? Barry Williams, Greg Brady. <laughs> Greg Brady, the guy who played, yeah, Greg Brady. He was he, he was in for uh, for Scott Bakula performance, and uh, anyway, it's just it's a it's it's a it's a beautiful song. Oh, this is my favorite song in the show too. So. You can see the pain inside How there were no words when he's hurting He leaves you hanging in the air And there were no words left for flirting Or running fingers through your hair There are words he doesn't say Though he knows he should There are words he doesn't say In the way I would For the truth is you deserve them so And they're long past overdue And the words he doesn't say Are the words I'd say to you to you good job michael beautiful Thanks, song so thank you let's get everybody again. up here sure. to say goodbye come on two yay, over there we one do over a here. big goodbye with everybody everybody in front of the camera yay the big goodbye come over the here jay goodbye. come over here with me oh. all you have to do is get up and wave jay that's all it's pretty easy it's pretty easy we're just saying goodbye yay. all right Thank you all. Thank you for supporting our live music. Um, go out and see people. Um, continue to support live music. And it's people like you that keep us all going. We wouldn't have an audience if, it, if you guys didn't show up. So thank you very much. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Thanks.